So the first thing we're gonna do is take the door handle off. There are two screws holding it on right here. And there's also two rubber grommets that we're gonna to want to remove to transfer to the new door. To get these grommets off, just pull on them. You might have to kind of pull down and push from one side and the grommets will come out. Go ahead and close the door and we're gonna take two bottom screws off as well as the rubber grommets. Now at this point, the door's only being held on by the top one, so just make sure this doesn't fall down. There are two magnetic catches on the door here, so typically this will stay put while you're taking this off. But just be careful so you don't drop this one. Again, take the rubber grommets off, and now the door is dismounted. You can go ahead and pull the door out and remove it. So now we're gonna put the new door on and just so we don't get any of the protective film caught behind the screw holes, we can go ahead and peel it back a little bit. And do this on both sides and both corners. Now with the corners peeled, we wanna make sure we have the door in the correct position. If you notice, the hole for the handle is slightly offset. The edge where the holes are closest to the top edge is our top. So go ahead and put this up here. Make sure the holes for the door go onto the hinge points here. We're gonna go ahead and use the factory grommets. You might have to move, wiggle the door around to get them in, but once they're in, they should stay put. You can see I'm holding the door here with my other hand so it doesn't fall off. And I'm not gonna screw these in completely just yet because we need to get the bottom screw holes aligned. Okay, so those are loosely on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the grommets in the lower holes here. And you can kind of shift the door around if you need to. Now I've got the grommets in for the bottom one. I'm gonna put the screws in. Just double check that the door is all lined up properly and it's moving okay. You wanna make sure that this seat's in here with a slight gap. Holding it in place like this, go ahead and tighten up all four screws. Go ahead and open the door and we're going to peel off the protective covering on both sides now. Now we need to put the handle on the new door. So go ahead and open it and push the grommets from the original door through the holes on the new door. There are little edges on them, so try to push them through. It may take you a couple tries. Take the screws from the handle, push them through the grommets, and then screw the handle back on. You wanna tighten these up until the handle sits flush with the door itself. Now the last thing we do is put the magnetic catch strips on and if you look at the machine there's little rectangles where the magnets are. There's one up top here and there's one at the bottom here. In the kit you'll have two magnetic strips like this. If you notice there's a side that is the actual white metal and the other side is the adhesive. You can tell the side difference because the adhesive is slightly shorter than the metal. The easiest way to get the tape off is to get a small flathead screwdriver and get it underneath the adhesive strip cover. Once it comes up, you can go ahead and peel the covering off. So remember we pointed out the magnet locations on my printer, it's here and here, and it should be the same on your X1 or P1, whatever you have. You can also look on the side and you'll see the magnets from the side as well. I'm just gonna take this and place this on the magnet centered just like this, and I don't want to have the strip fully touching here. We want to leave a little gap. I'm going to put my second strip in place. And all we need to do now is close the door and push. And now we're done. 
If you want to go ahead and give these another squeeze now that they're in position, you can go ahead and do that now. But just like that, we have the door replaced. You can see how much clearer this is with our door versus the stock one. And I can actually show you. So here's the stock one. And here's ours.